What up, y'all? You know who it is, your boy Kiss. Right now, you checking out the three point conversion. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> we here in LA, Radio Row, Super Bowl 56. Got my guy Rue over there, man. I got a special guest. This is somebody I've been trying to interview. I always wanted to interview because this dude is, he's going to give it to you. He's going to let you know everything. My guy, John Sally. What up, John? What up, man? How you living? <laughs> Good, you bro. Living? I would put, you know, um, make sure this is right. Um, so all six of your listeners are going to be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, John. <laughs> oh man! No. Hey. I love I love. See, the real. fact that y'all are out of the A is important. Yeah. You grew up in Decatur. Yep, yep. And where'd you I'm go? from Chicago. You from Chicago? Yep. Well, that means from Atlanta, because everybody from the Midwest moved back. Right. And to Atlanta. That's why yep. they got the 400 and a whole bunch of streets going nowhere. Yep. yep. Everybody moved back in. And but John, I, oh, but go, ahead, go, ahead. go ahead. I just gotta let y'all know yeah. before we get started, because the the boss. On uh, who I'm here representing, Alkali ADHQ. Now to pay the bill. Now lives in now lives in Atlanta mm -hmm. as well. Make sure you go get your Alkali. Henry ADHD. County Sheriff. Black owned. <laughs> Black owned. <laughs> <laughs> so John, let's start with this. I don't know that girl. This situation, <laughs> this situation with Pippin, man. What is going? What do you think is going on for him to? I, I understand the last dance. He didn't look. Great, I guess, from you know, when they talked about him. Mr. Controversy, you want to set up the whole situation, or you, you just think uh, everybody know what you think? I'm, I'm, no, I'm about, to, I'm about to tell it. I'm about okay, to tell it. Ahead. So, the last dance, you know, situation, Jordan talked about it. The I last guess, dance, a show on Netflix. On Netflix. Mm. They should know that. If they don't know this, they, but anyway, they played, a they lot were playing. Of your the, listeners just got out of prison. They were playing, <laughs> the, <laughs> they were playing against the New York Knicks. And, you know, Pippen didn't want to go in because Phil asked Kuko to shoot the last shot. He didn't like it, and you go in, and then they talked about against y'all when he had the migraine and everything else. So Pippen looked like, you know, I like guess Pippen. he didn't take it. Yeah, like Pippen. <laughs> so now he's taking it against Jordan and came out with a book and talking about he's the greatest Chicago Bulls ever and all that. Your take on this, man. Wow. Um, that was a long-ass question, controversy. <laughs> so this is what happened. This is what happened, right? Uh, literally, Scotty was upset with a lot of things that were being said over the years, um, and rightfully so. You know, I've said some really good things about Scotty, and then um, I watched him on TV not say so great things about me, so I'm not really caring any longer. But uh, <laughs> So you know I'm going to give it to you. This is the deal. The game when Michael Jordan was playing baseball, and it, right, that's yeah, when it got. Yeah. And so the team had gotten to a point where – it was the last play of the game, and Phil drew, drew it up for, for uh, Tony Kukos to take the shot, which he hit, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly as Phil designed mm -hmm. it, but without Scotty's ass in the game. Mm -hmm. You don't come in and start talking about respect, disrespect. What That makes no sense. Mm -hmm. If <clears throat> That's like this weekend when the Los Angeles Rams win the Super Bowl. Maybe... Odell Beckham Jr. won't get a lot of catches because he's the detour. The de they did it. You from Chicago? The year that the that the Chicago Bears won with Walter Payton. Walter Payton didn't get play no touchdown, that right? Yeah, you, know, no touchdown. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. That's what happens. It's a team uh, effort to win. Yes, it made him look bad uh, because it was bad. It was bad negotiation on his part. It was a bad time of the year, but Scotty was, as Phil Jackson used to say, the greatest and the most skilled player he's ever played with. But he, in this time and age, when you're in your 50s and that's what you see, you better figure out a way to sharpen your knife. Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown doesn't have a <laughs> successful... mama's cooking. Yeah, he don't have a successful show unless somebody goes to kill him and he comes right, back up. Right. And it, without anybody saying anything, Kwame, we would have never heard from him. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why. John, man, you know you're a legend. You play for the Bulls. You play for the bad boys. Yes. I it's, won with both. You won with both. You yes. won with both. So being that being said, Lakers you played too. with two guys, MJ and Z. Yes. Are they right. ever going to mend a relationship, man? I think, ever. I think, I think the relationship situation, I think it's already mend. Uh, I don't know that. Let me tell you why. Um, 
I watched a documentary with Kevin Garnett. Mm-hmm. And Kevin Garnett said he had gone to Chicago and Michael and Scotty and them were about to play pickup. And Isaiah was on the sideline because by then Isaiah was working for his own team in Toronto. And he told Kevin Garnett, you can go pro. But he was in there and Michael was in there, Scotty and them. Were, and for them to take that any more serious than that, they were just mad that we used to beat their butt all the time. <laughs> um, that was the deal. They were, the Chicago was highly upset about that. Uh, guys, let me tell you, I ran up. I saw this one guy, man, was in the elevator. I ain't gonna say his name, and he was looking at me all crazy. And I'm about to be 58 in May. I started smoking weed at 36. I don't remember half the stuff I did at 22. If I elbowed you, dated your girl, called her late at night, I'm sorry. (laughs) The truth, save the devil. That's what we do on this show. So, so did you? You know, people want to say that because you was friends with Mike. Which people? I think. Barkley said something, yeah. but you know, you was friends with Mike. You kind of took it easy on Mike. Um, this is so funny. Uh, <laughs> that I didn't do. It, but Charles will tell you when you when you piss Mike off, it can cost you a friendship. <laughs> um, it can cost right. you a friendship. And one of the things that happened is there's a picture of me with my hand on Michael's face and his tongue is out, and I'm pulling him down. He dunked it. Mm. And that's on CBS. <laughs> and everybody in my project probably was waiting for me to come back to take my sneakers off because Michael dunked on me. And then the next time he went to the basket, he was on his back. <laughs> and I was stepping over him. And he was like, you know what, man? You, you one of them. You one of them. I go, money, I've always been one of them. Mm. And he was like, man, I can't believe you treat me like this. I said, dude, if it's between you winning and me winning, you ain't going to have a good day. Mm. And, and he understood that, and he should respect it. But you're right. He was pissed, but he ain't, he ain't mad no more. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and also, I got to say this, too. So y'all had to go through Boston, you know. and yeah, the, real ba- the real bad boys. Yeah, the real bad boys. And then y'all finally got through them, and then, of course, y'all gave y'all lesson to the Bulls. Well, y'all had to go through Lakers. Then y'all, after y'all lost, y'all got back in, whatever. So you, you see this trend in the NBA now. Who is the team right now that you think is headed towards this direction as far as, all right, we're learning, now we're going to get to the top? You know, it's so crazy. Um, we didn't have this. The, the, so just to answer, uh, tell you people what he's talking about. In 1986, 87, the Pistons lose in the Eastern Conference. Well, 1986, Six, we yeah. lose in the first round to the Hawks, mm. right? Right the year before I get there. And Dominique scores 100 points in two games with no dunks and right. embarrass the Pistons. The next year, the Pistons are playing against the Boston Celtics in Game 7 Eastern Conference Championship. We lose. The next year, we win. We lose to the Lakers in the championship in 1988. Uh, so they three P. The next two years, the Pistons win 89, 90 championships. You're not allowed to do that now. You're not allowed to stay with your team and get better and get better and get better. And here we are. They don't. They don't let that develop. They they go around now acting like it's fantasy football, right. fantasy basketball. It's not the way to do it. They they don't build a nucleus of a team and get going like. Do you think Milwaukee is going to win the championship next year? I, I do. I, I think so. I, I think they're going to win I mean, it again. Team in the NBA. Really? I really I do. I think as when they get to the playoffs, you got you got killers. You got, of course, you got um, Play, role the, players, the shoe guard, yeah, the shoe yeah. guard. But you know, but yeah, you got all of that, and you got Giannis and everything. Yep. They got defense, offense. Mm-hmm. I just don't think it's a, a team out there when it comes to the playoffs that could beat them. No, neither. Who, they got the best record. Not, Not the best the record. I didn't hear you. That's, <laughs> Not the best record. Who has the best the record? The Suns. The Phoenix Suns. Oh, okay. We said but, championship, though. Yeah, but I don't, that championship caliber team, I see Milwaukee doing it again. Okay, so I now I want you to be businessmen. If you had to sell a jersey, which is the best-selling jersey? The Suns, where all the Republicans live? <laughs> or Milwaukee with 88% <laughs> <laughs> uh, unemployment at the factory? <laughs> <laughs> the 
look, man. Look, we, we got to let Sally go cause <laughs> before we get in trouble. But, because um, he answered the question but, that's real. <laughs> but, but, no, man, we appreciate you for coming on, bro. Where, where we can pick up this Alkaline 88. Alkaline 88. Everywhere you can possibly be on the planet, mm. it's a Target, it's a Costco. It, you can even Taste you can walk. Good. Yeah, and the deal is it tastes good because Shaquille owns it. Black, when black people own something, it tastes better. Uh, it tastes like hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got hot sauce I in taste it. it. <laughs> All right, John, we got to go. We're hey, wait, John. Let me see something. Oh, I, I thought I saw a brand on oh. this. Oh, just tattoo. Yeah, he, he black enough. He got tattoo.